Hey the YouTube webcam 9000 here, today I'm going to show you how to make uh, custom text tones for your iDevice, be it iPad uh, or iPhone. Uh, there have been a lot of complaints within the last sort of uh, previous generations of, sort of iOS 4, 3, etc, uh, etc, et that you can't make custom text tones. Well that is now not the case, you can have custom text tones to your heart's content. I'm just going to quickly show you how to make one. The first thing you can do is open GarageBand. I'm sorry I don't uh, quite know how uh, to do this on a PC yet, but if I do find one I'll make a PC version as well. And you're just going to go uh, iPhone ringtone and then just example ringtone and choose. If that's all okay, just click create and it'll create uh, you a new uh, template right there. You don't need to worry about this so much, so just click the information box and that disappears. And then you want to get rid of that because obviously you don't want uh, that as your your ringtone, or your text tone rather. You need this little slider thing at the top and I'll show you why uh, in a minute. So what I'm going to do basically is just drag this to the side and put in a track that I want to be um, a custom ringtone and or text tone. So here's the track and then I can just crop it down to whatever I like. So let's say that and then if I zoom out a little bit, pull that in. Um, I'll just click play to make sure it works. Yeah, so that's what I want. Uh, I found that actually roughly about 20 seconds is, is about the length uh, of uh, a phone, the, the iPhone ring. Uh, so if you just sort of leave it at about 20 seconds, that is how long uh, you are going to be exporting, how much of the track is going to be exported. Uh, and so basically you just lengthen it to about 20 seconds or so. Just make sure you've got what you like. Uh, you can, if you like, pull up the master track uh, and you can add in, uh, let's say, a quick fade out at the end, like so. And if you really wanted to, you could also perhaps add in a very quick, uh, if I can do it, <laughs> very quick fade in as well. So it should sound like this. But you obviously, you know, you don't have to do that, but it's just what I do. Uh, and then all you need do is go, once you know what you want, once you've set the uh, parameters uh, of your track, send ringtone to iTunes. And it'll send it. And it'll go straight to your iTunes, wherever it may be. Tones, there we go right there and obviously the same thing applies for text tones as well so I'll just show you that very quickly delete that put that in this is just a really short clip and just scrub it down that length obviously you might not want um, a fade in for this if it's too short because obviously you can have very short uh, text tones so if you just delete the master track and just sort of raise it back up to zero thereabouts and then just quick play and make sure it works. Nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. Obviously, that can be as short as you like. Uh, and then just the same process. Send ringtone to iTunes. You get nothing. You lose. And when you sing that to your phone, uh, it'll come up in the text alerts. Because it's such a short track, it'll come up as a text tone uh, as well as a ringtone. So if you wanted that as a ringtone, you could have one. But it's probably more uh, text tone as it's so short. But yeah, that's just a very, very quick uh, tutorial on how to make custom text tones and ringtones in uh, GarageBand for Mac uh, for your iOS device. Uh, please be sure to rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs me up, and like me and all that kind of jazz. Follow me on Twitter, Twitter.com, forward slash And I will see you guys in the next video.